Emily Fraser with Cobalt Banker, your local realtor in Pittsburgh, PA. And we're here today to talk a little bit about the three home projects that you should feel confident in tackling yourself and three home projects that you should probably outsource to a licensed professional. The three most common mistakes that home buyers make um, when taking on do-it-yourself at home projects are that they don't account for the permitting that's required for some of these home improvement projects. They don't budget appropriately or choose to go the cheap route. And three, they work way beyond their skill level. Here's the truth. With shows like Love It or Listed and Fixer Upper and Property Brothers and other shows, home improvement shows like that, it's not hard to imagine how some of the most creative and talented interior designers have inspired uh, a bunch of people at home to want to do the same types of improvements to their own homes. With having features like updated kitchens and baths um, and modern features throughout the home may be super popular in the Pittsburgh market, um, it, it is sometimes best to leave some of these painstaking and challenging uh, home improvement projects to the professionals. Firstly, when it comes to home improvement projects, you're gonna to need to apply for the proper permits in order to complete your project. Um, as a general rule of thumb, these measures are implemented for safety purposes, and most times when you're dealing with major systems in the home, like electrical, plumbing, roofing, things like that, you're gonna to need to uh, consult with the city to obtain any required permits prior to doing any of that work. Not applying for the right building permits can also put your insurance coverage at risk. So it's very important that you consult with um, a local agent or uh, go directly to the city to figure out what exactly what permits you're gonna to need to complete your project. Secondly, it doesn't take a genius to imagine how a simple project can get out of hand in terms of your budget very quickly. Um, you can run into all kinds of problems once you start opening up uh, different areas of the home, uh, just things that weren't foreseen prior to beginning the project. Um, and so it's very important to really sit down and work through a very realistic budget of what your home renovation project could cost uh, and then account for additional money in case you run into uh, unforeseen problems. Thirdly, just because your favorite TV personalities on HGTV make these projects look super simple, uh, the skill level and the amount of knowledge that it takes for these projects goes well beyond the one hour segment that you're watching. So it is very important that you consult with the correct contractors um, who are reliable and licensed and insured uh, to complete some of these projects when it may be something that is too big of a project to complete on your own. Finally, to recap, uh, if you're unsure about any of the projects that might require a permit, consult with your local realtor. Um, again, as a rule of thumb, if you're changing the systems in the home, like electrical or plumbing or things like that, you're generally gonna need a permit but if you're tackling smaller projects like repainting your walls or uh, upgrading your kitchen cabinets or things along those lines, generally you're not gonna require a permit. But it's always important, important to do your research uh, and make sure that you're prepared no matter what your project is. If you try to tackle at-home projects without the proper skill level, uh, budgeting, or uh, permits required, you're gonna find yourself running into debt, into danger, or into irreparable damage. At this point, you may be convinced that you need some help um, in making decisions about you know, which home improvement projects you should take on yourself versus which ones you should leave to the pros, or you may not even know where to start at all. If you're thinking about completing um, any at-home DIY uh, projects, definitely give me a call or a text. My number is 412-503-2626. Uh, no obligation and no crazy sales tactics. Uh, I would just be happy to help and provide any guidance in, a, in any way that I can to help you determine the best projects to take on um, for yourself and your home. Finally, if you're a resident of Pittsburgh, PA, I highly suggest you join my Facebook group, uh, Pittsburgh Lifestyle. The link is down below in the video. Um, it's just a great resource for all the local events and activities coming up in your neighborhood and your community. And it's a great way to stay involved and to stay up to date in what's going on in Pittsburgh, PA. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you again in the next video.